this is part of 117GW here. We have the King Arms M4 rail system. Now, this is uh, basically a nylon fiber body, so plastic body essentially. Uh, but it's really cool for a budget gun. They actually perform really solid today. Uh, you know, the body kind of leaves a little bit more to be desired, but this is kind of something you're going to get for, you know, someone who's starting an airsoft or maybe wants to get something above, like, you know, your basic $100 gun. So definitely something really cool. Obviously, you can see I've dressed it up a little bit. Uh, we're actually getting some really good range, action and consistency in here. And I was able to fit an 11.1 uh, brick in this version of King Arms Peck Box. But, so definitely was able to get some pretty sufficient battery space in here. Uh, but we have my buddy. Adrian Twist here, and we're going to go shoot Samurai Mat 3, get a good range test in, so we're going to fire, obviously it's going to be really good because we've got the 11.1 1 there, but go ahead and uh, shoot him that range. Alright, send it. Hit. Ah, oh, bolt lights on him. Man. So as you can see, for a platform that isn't, you know, quite as expensive or as demanding as some of the, you know, for the more advanced players, you're still going to get really good range accuracy. We had a buddy out at pretty much the same range we've been testing in the car, but it's 190, probably about 200 feet. On full hour, we were definitely hitting him, standing, full man-sized target, so we're definitely getting good hits on him. So make sure you guys check out, it's the nylon fiber, or King Arms M4 wrist. Uh, definitely a good, uh, interesting weapon system to, to use if you're starting off or if you're kind of mid, mid level user. Uh, definitely get your money's worth. Uh, make sure you guys check it out. Uh, this was provided by 6mm Gunworks in California. Check those guys out. Thank you guys for watching. Hey guys, this is Spartan 117GW. We are here at Extreme Combat and we have the King Arms M4. Basically, uh, it typically comes with a carry handle and it has uh, the traditional LE slash military style stock. Uh, pretty standard features, um, you know, you have a uh, polymer body, uh, you have a you know, metal barrel, metal sights and everything like that. As you can see, we just, you know, add a few things. Red dot, obviously the fat mag for a little range test. Uh, the gun is pretty solid. Note that if you do take a good spill with this, you might get a little wiggle somewhere. Uh, I'd like climbing through a window and I totally ate, you know, <laughs> ate the ground. So I uh, had to tighten the stock a little bit, but other than that, it was really no problem. Uh, what's really cool, obviously, with these uh, kind of uh, more sport line or more uh, economical guns, is that they're really, really light. You know, I'm used to using the full metal guns, um, the higher end tier, so uh, it was actually kind of fun to run around with this because it's so light. Obviously, not a big fan of the uh, blazing orange tip, but you know, that kind of comes standard with a lot of sport line guns. Very surprisingly, trigger response and the, uh, the accuracy you get with this thing is actually really good for a stock gun. So we're gonna go ahead and conduct a little range test. Uh, Matt's gonna be shooting hardy. Uh, both, pretty much everyone's wearing LBX today, just in case you guys didn't know. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and conduct the range test and uh, see what kind of results we get. What's up? Okay, hey guys, this is here, uh, Spartan 117GW. We are at Extreme Combat. We just conducted our range test. Uh, both he and I got to use the uh, King Arms M4 during the day. I want to get some of your thoughts on it first because obviously, you know, you're using like usually KWA or something typically. Uh, going to something like this, which is more of an economical or you know, standard, you know, I wouldn't say sport line, but pretty much base gun. Uh, what was your experience using it? What do you think? Oh, I loved it. It was, I like it because it's lightweight. You know, it's easy to get around those corners with, and the range on it is, it's about the same as my KWA. Okay. Honestly. Yeah, one thing I noticed, it was shooting really flat. Like, whatever hop up they put in here, it's pretty stable, and you get a lot of really good consistent range with it. Had a couple people pick it up, take a couple pop shots with it to get their opinions, but definitely for a gun that's not, you know, full full metal and has, you know, the $300 price tag, oh, yeah. performance was definitely there. Very very surprising uh, enough for me, because uh, I'm used to using, you know, KWA and VFC and all those other different things, but uh, just goes to show that even though you don't have a lot of money to invest in airsoft, you can still get something that comes out of the box that can compete. And I know both you and I definitely got tons of kills today. I'm like, yeah, pretty much. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. So make sure you guys check it out. Uh, this gun was provided by 6mm Gunworks. It's the uh, 
King Arms M4, pretty much standard uh, LE setup. It usually comes with the uh, carry handle as well. Make sure you guys check them out. Make sure you guys check out this gun. Uh, if you're on a budget, this is definitely a really good gun to pick up. So thank you guys for watching. Dude, just gonna light them up. Hey, guys, guys. Hey, cut them off right. Cut the right side off. Cut the right side off. Watch the right oh, side. Jeremy, get him on over Okay, pie around the corner. Pie around the corner. Pie around the corner. He's probably tucked in tight in the four ounces, guys. Yeah, I think definitely keeping his head down. I really want to make a move on that tower though. Because nothing's getting done right now. Uh, Chris is just standing up on the right side here. On the right? So he's watching the right side. What about that bunker one point? That bunker! Yeah. If you can make it into that bunker next to it, I can cover it. Alright, well that guy's shooting at us and made the tower, but I fuck it. Oh right. shit, alright, you got me. Yeah. Oh. Hey guys, this is Spartan 117GW. We just conducted the rain test, uh, range test, and his phone's going off. One second. Cut. I'm James C. Burns and play Sergeant Frank Woods in Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2. It's time for you to subscribe to Spartan 117GW, baby. Elite Force BBs, that's what's in my mag. Thanks for watching.